Rotten Apples, Part 2. Attempting to update 30 supervised iPads at once using Apple Configurator. Some will succeed without any error. Some will turn off during the update and there's a restore failure. Some iPads I catch and turn on, some I miss. None of these problems would occur if Apple Configurator and the iPads worked properly. By Dale Mahalko, January 2013. Attention, this video is very boring. It has little motion and has long silent pauses waiting for the iPads or Mac to do anything or show any status updates. I do occasionally say something to tell you what's happening. I'm doing this to show just how long it really takes to do iPad updating and how time consuming this process is for educators due to F Apple's iPad restore failure bug. Okay, I'm now going to plug the USB cable from the iPad cart into the back of the Mac while Apple Configurator is open. And this will begin the iPad update process. All right, there is now a series of little pie graphs next to each one of the iPads, and the update process is beginning. And they're all in different stages. Some say supervising, installing apps, checking activation state and so forth. So we're just going to have to wait now until the iPads get to the point where they say they're um, restoring Now an interesting little detail for the supervising and update process is that there's a little pie chart that shows the progress of what's going on. Um, well, the first minute, minute and a half of the connection process, the pie graph jumps to 99%. All you can see is this little tiny sliver of white on their little progress and it says installing apps. But see, we're not, it's not like it's, oh, it's almost done. This part where we're installing apps is actually the longest part of the process. So although it looks like it's 99% done, it's going to stay at 99% done for quite a while here. Basically until the apps update process completes. Alright, so now if I scroll through the list of devices, we see that their pie graphs are all at the 99% point, and they say installing apps.
since there's another computer here, I'm just going to turn that computer on. So that way I can do something else, at least while I'm waiting for the iPads to get to the point where I have to turn them on. Number eight says, Restoring Backup. So let's look at number eight. Number eight says, Restore in Progress. I'm just going to just hold on to it. Restore Complete. We get a little spinny symbol. And the screen just went blank, and we have an Apple logo. And the screen just went black. And the screen is still black. And it's still black. Okay, I'll push the home button. You'll see that the home button doesn't do anything. I'll just lightly press the power button. Power doesn't turn on either. So you see this iPad is turned off. It is now unresponsive to the update process. And if I look at the configurator, it doesn't tell me that the Mac has just or the iPad has just turned off. It just simply says Restoring backup and the pie, the pie chart is still at 99%. Oh, and meanwhile, I look at this, I see that 1, 2, 4, 5, and 6 also say doing the updates, okay? So, or doing the restoring backup, so, okay. I'm going to have to manually turn this one on. Hold the power button. Oh, now we get the Apple symbol. Okay, and so now it's doing the progress bar for the restore, so I can set this one down. And now I can go and I can check these other ones. What's their progress? What are they doing? Number six says restoring backup, and the screen is blank. So this one has turned off also, so I have to come over here and press the power button. Now I get the Apple logo. And number five says restoring backup. And this one is off. So we have to press the power button, turn on, get the Apple logo, set it back down. Okay, number 16 says restoring backup. And since all these other ones are doing the updates, I suppose I should check that one and see what's going on. This one is also off. So I have to press and hold the power button to get it to turn on. Okay, there's the Apple logo. And number 24 says, Restoring Backup. It's off. Hold the button to turn it on. 
Get the Apple logo. Uh oh, I was too slow. See, since I'm trying to explain this in this video here, I'm not getting this done quickly enough. Okay, so the Apple, the Mac just pinged, indicating that it is done. And when we scroll to the bottom here, I see that iPad 24, restore failed, iPad 28, restore failed, and iPad 29, restore failed. So since I was over here demonstrating what I have to do to get past this, I missed the, the I have just like two, three minutes to turn them on during the update. And there's no indication of when I have to do this. But I have to vigilantly watch these to see when this update point occurs. And the amount of time that it takes for it to occur varies because, see, this time they, they didn't do a um, iOS update. So this time it was a, a quick update process. But if there's an iOS update, well, hey, then it may take another 15, 20 minutes for the update to get to the point where you push the thing. Now, also, it's interesting to note that a bunch of these, they did the restore and they succeeded, and I didn't have to touch them, which is also weird. So it's inconsistent whatever is going on here. It's some need to be powered up and some don't. So okay. The next video is a demonstration of trying to let Apple Configurator redo the updating and restoring of the three iPads that turned off and failed to finish this process.